Hi, this is Star Thinker. Uh, I got a couple things to go over tonight. I'm going to go over the easy things first because I'm pretty sure when I get down to the uh, the serious things, it's going to get emotional, and I don't want to do that first <laughs> and then make light of it by doing the other things. So I'll do the light things first. Um, so a lot of people have been talking about oh, release clues, release clues, and I just I don't I never wanted to do that. I did have a couple in mind if it ever got that far, but. Um, a lot of people are like, oh, really? And I'm just not that person. I mean, if you look at the whistle pig, the whistle pig's been around for years. No one's released clues. Uh, no one released clues for the secret. You know, even up until the author passed away. Um, it's just <laughs> there's so many books and nobody. I know Forrest Fenn like always hinted and dropped and, and said things, and um, I didn't want to be that person. Um, but I'm caving into pressure supposedly. <laughs> <laughs> so I know a lot of people are like, well, I, I mentioned that there's one page in the book that uh, doesn't belong in the book. And everyone's like, well, and I think it stands out like a sore thumb. And I really don't get that people don't know which one it is. But everyone, that's the biggest question I'm asked is, well, which one, which one, which one? So um, I thought I would just do what some people have suggested. Uh, at, if I can get to 500 book sales... I will tell you which page doesn't belong in the book, and it's just very simple. Um, right now, I'm sitting at about 270, I think. Uh, so, I mean, <laughs> there's not a lot of people reading this book, and um, yeah, I, I never intended to give out clues, but uh, sure, I'll do this one since I already mentioned that, and I, it just, I just can't understand how people can't tell which one it is. <laughs> And of course, I'm the I'm the insider, so I, sh I should know. But um, yeah, I'm just sitting here. I'm getting ready for work. Uh, but yeah, so let's go with that. 500 book sales, and I do check it at least once a week. Um, there was a small surge, and I mean a very small surge, when Forest Fence Treasure was found. Uh, but I don't know. It could be years before we get to 500. So <laughs> I will put that out there uh, officially that that 500 books. I will uh, release uh, which page is, is the one that doesn't belong. And if you don't know that story, it's because, uh, you know, the plates with pictures on it are front to back, and I ended up with an odd number. So I ended up with one plate with nothing on the back. And I did have other hunts that I'd been designing, and I just took a, a random picture from one of my other hunts, and I stuck it in a hunt that I will never do. So I just stuck it in there as filler, uh, just because it, it looked good. And uh, so there is one one page that doesn't belong. So anyway, that's my offer. Uh, and I was gonna, you know, people are like a thousand, two thousand. I just at the rate sales are going, it'll take years to get to five hundred anyway. So I'll go with five hundred. Uh, the other thing I want to talk about is uh, it's a little bit somber, and I'll probably start crying at some point. Um, but uh, I know there's, there's been uh, some, uh, oh, what's the word? I don't want to say, I don't want to say the negative connotation. There's been some protests in Denver. And um, I don't, and if, if you ever met any of my friends and family, I don't talk politics. I don't talk religion to anybody. I don't talk it to my kids. I didn't talk it to my wife. This is a policy of mine. I don't talk religion or politics. But, um... I will say I, I do support a lot of these protests. Um, a lot of my friends in Denver are right there downtown with these with these people, and um, you know doing the protesting. That that site where most of the protests take place is like the place where everyone goes to protest in Colorado. It's right outside the state capitol. It's a big park, and it's it just lends itself to protests. Uh, I know a couple. Of you, when I lived in Denver, there was the uh, there was homeless protests, um, <clears throat> and uh, it got really big. The roads that go on each side they, they end up closing them, and it's always a big deal when there's protests going on downtown. And of course, uh, before that, there were 420 protests, and you know, uh, it's just a place where there's a lot of protests. But recently, the pro you know these protests are gearing towards. Um, uh, you know more sensitive matters and uh some statues that are uh that were considered uh racially insensitive have been torn down and one was removed 
uh, and people were asking me if these have any impact on the book. So I will start with the simple ones. They did take down the statue of Kit Carson. I think that was on Broadway and Colfax. That will have no bearing on anything. But they also took down the statue of uh, Christopher Columbus. Um, so Christopher, the statue, I mean, has a plaque right out. It says dedicated to Christopher Columbus. And everyone says, yeah, that's a statue. It's supposed to depict Christopher Columbus pointing to the four uh, coordinates. And, uh, but now that the statue is taken down, they're like, oh, no, that was never meant to be Christopher Columbus. The artist himself has come forward and says, oh, um, no, that wasn't supposed to be Christopher Columbus. That's based on a Leonardo uh, a da Vinci uh, statue and um, you know he, he modeled it after that um, but you know when you take it with the plaque and everything <laughs> and the history of Christopher Columbus what are we left to assume that 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 was Christopher Columbus and you know regardless of, uh, of uh, how you how you read that I I'm not buying this <laughs> I mean, I'll buy that the artist says, oh, no, that wasn't Christopher Columbus. But, you know, when you put it up there the way it is, uh, it's going to appear that. And I'm looking through my book here. And look, it matches my shirt. And uh, on page uh, 28, there is a poem. And it goes, Christopher ever pointing, but which way to go? Uh, down the beaten war path and the brush. The <laughs> I have terrible at reading aloud. Down the beaten warpath and the bus, Bronco Busta show. So th those are the first two lines, and um, the first line, Columbus ever pointing, but which way to go? I mean, I've seen this online several times in, in the forums and uh, in someone's who posted their their well, how far they've gotten so far. Uh, that yeah, the Columbus pointing, but which way to go? That did refer to the statue. So I will say that I did have a contingency in place. Because there's lots of statues in the book, uh, more than has been found so far. And <laughs> I did have a contingency in place for every statue that uh, might have disappeared over the years. Uh, like I said, when I first published the book, the almost to the month I published it, one of the statues was removed. And I was like going, oh, no. And I was waiting because I knew they were putting it back. And uh, they did put it back and... Uh, they use the same stones and everything so it didn't affect anything and uh so that was before anybody even knew about this book and now you know they're they're saying they're going to put this statue back but they're going to remove references to columbus and so uh i don't think anything needs to change everyone knows where the statue was everyone knows uh what the statue was uh and they're going to put it back. Uh, it probably won't refer to Columbus. It'll probably have some plaque on it that says, this is not Columbus. Uh, <laughs> I don't think it has any bearing on it. Like I said, some people have already solved this part of the crew, clue. And um, I'm not sure about the Bron Bronco Busta show. Uh, that I can see someone tearing that down, but it, it really, I don't know if there's any racial connotations to that statue. Uh, but uh, I can see someone thinking it might and tear it down. Uh, I think that refers to, you know, the old shows of the Old West. Uh, so, I don't know. Uh, the other statue that was torn down uh, was the Civil War statue near the, the, the Capitol. Um, I kind of agree with this. Now, the statue itself depicts a, a random Civil War soldier. It doesn't depict anyone in particular. But it commemorates uh, a battalion that uh, fought for the North and helped end the war. But, and this is the part where I'm going to get really sad, this battalion um, also was responsible for a, a nasty, horrible massacre. Um, they, uh, I pulled it up here. Uh, I went to Sand Creek. Uh, several years ago the Sand Creek Massacre and I walked through the events of that day and it was just I mean it was mostly women and children and and old people who couldn't fight and they, it was you know it was not a battle it was a massacre they they killed defenseless people and they killed hundreds of them they didn't just kill them but they killed them with glee they chased them into the desert 
you know, they would chase them until they fell and then scalp them. And uh, they dismembered that. It was just a horrible massacre. And there's just no, there's no forgiveness for that. I don't believe there's anything anybody can say that will say, hey, you know, forgive them. They were soldiers carrying out orders. No, they weren't. They, they did this. The soldiers that didn't want to do this actually stayed back. And uh, they were threatened with, you know, being shot as traitors and stuff, but they did stay back. And, you know, they're, it was just horrible. And I do agree that that statue should have been torn down, uh, regardless of what they did later on. It was a massacre. And, and any statue that commemorates people who, who do such horrible, horrible things, um, yeah, I mean, I can't imagine, you know, there are some somber plaques and, and walkthroughs when you go to Sand Creek that is the kind of thing that should commemorate a date like this not showing a soldier because they weren't soldiers that did that they were animals um, so I mean that's about as political as I'll get uh, that statue was torn down I don't believe they have any plans to replace it and it does not have any bearing on anything in the book so um, <clears throat> Hopefully uh, that'll clear up some, some things. Um, most of the rest of the, the, the items in the book, I don't think one can't be torn down. <laughs> and so there's that. Uh, some have not been found yet, so you don't even know where they are. And uh, then there's a whole bunch of secondary ones that nobody has figured out yet. So... Um, yeah, so far as I know, those three statues were torn down. One is mentioned in the book. The other two are not. So we're good on those other two uh, as far as the book is concerned. And, um, yeah, Christopher Columbus, like I said, anyone walking up and looking at that statue is going to think, yeah, that's a statue depicting Christopher Columbus pointing to the four coordinates, uh, cardinals, cardinals, the cardinal directions. Uh, so... Uh, but they did say they, they did plan on putting that one up. And like I said, this is one that was kind of one of the easier ones. So, uh, I, like I said, I did layers. I did easy ones and harder ones. So, anyway, there's that. Um, if you read into my words, I'm sure you can uh, figure out some other things I was saying without saying it. Um, and I didn't do that intentionally. It's just something that kind of slipped out, I guess. So i am got to get to work, and uh, I have cats to feed before I go. <clears throat> I'm still a little choked out. I mean, that day when I was there, that was one of the few days I stood in public, and I openly cried with people standing around. And, and um, it's, it's a very emotional place to visit, especially when you see the layout of the land, and there's there's like these plaques that walk you through well this is when they did this and this is when they did this and then you overlook this valley floor and um, it's just horrible and uh, I ended up going there one day because I was going to um, a cemetery in Kansas and I that was kind of on the way I thought well I'll stop and see this and I ended up spending the whole day there and uh, yeah that's if you ever get a chance to visit that I know that's not a popular part of Colorado it's in the middle of nowhere, which um, adds to the weight of what happened because they force these people into the middle of nowhere. There's no water out there. There's no plants. There's no food. Um, so, yeah, and then they just massacred them. So, anyway, I, I am kind of glad they tore that statue down. I, I, have, no, I have no reservations about that. Uh, so that's my uh that's my notes for today um i i know this is a weird angle that's because i left my tripod in the car after burying anubis's uh it's not anubis's treasure it was a uh it was a uh, it was a sacrifice to anubis and we did that uh partly out of fun but partly because you don't want to anger the gods and you don't want to you don't want to take that chance <laughs> and um, I was serious if you ever if you watched the previous video about Anubis um, it's so it's a simple wooden box and actual copper coins that we come across we put in there and uh, 
it would not open one day. It was literal, and other than smashing the box, we could not find a way to open that box. The, the latch, it's just like someone glued it with Gorilla Glue. <laughs> like, this is a sign. So, um, we did go out to do that together, and we ended up not doing it. So, it fell upon me to go out and bury Anubis's, uh, the, the tribute to Anubis. So, anyway, I need to go. Uh, I hit my mark, and uh, we'll see you guys later. Again, it matches my shirt. It matches my scarf up there. Many things I own are green. Yeah, you can even see the green pillow right there. Uh, <laughs> uh, and I'm looking at even my screensaver on my computer is green. So, anyway, I gotta go. I gotta go to work. And this is uh, this has been a little notification. So I hope that clarified a few things. And uh, we'll talk to you guys later.